So now let's go ahead and get into the walk around of this system so you can kind of see uh, up close and personal what this machine looks like. So let's start to break down this machine and show you some of the features as to why it makes sense to own a DTF printer. So let's just start off with the side panels. The fact that you have these quick pull, you twist and turn, gives you complete access to the side of this unit. Now let's just open up this. Just the fact that you can open this up alone and you have access to everything that is right here in the front of the printer, but also you have access to the side of the printer. So you get a full on look at the whole inside of this system from the belts to the vacuum tray and everything in between. So let's talk a little bit about this area alone. Okay, this is one thing that makes a DTF printer a DTF printer is the fact that it has these suction holes for this area that keeps the film down as well as you have these right here. So these slide back and forth. And these guides right here are extremely important because these guides are what holds the film down to the vacuum tray. It, it, it allows the, the little lip right here to hold the film down when you're printing your material. So this is an important feature. So you're not gonna get something like this from something you just went to Staples or Office Depot to purchase, you know, an eco tank or whatever. It doesn't have that. And this is very important because this feature right here alone is what prevents head strikes. Okay? It keeps the film in place, it keeps it where it needs to be, and it prevents that head from hitting the side of the film, which then can throw your alignment off. All kinds of problems can occur just due to that part alone. That's one of the benefits of having this here. Now we notice that we have in the front these magnetic opening trays and they're on both sides. So we can access the print heads, anything we need to by removing this and then you can see your print head in there. As well as this tray here is also removable, a few screws and this tray can come off and then you've got access to your dampers, your hoses, everything you need. Dampers are kind of important to be able to get to as well because if you need to change them, you know, it, it's nice to have quick access to them to be able to do so. But again, even over here on this side, it just gives you another area to perform maintenance. So having these openings is a very nice touch here in the front. It's very similar to what you would find on the big 24 inch printers. You know, easy access to maintain the areas in which need to be maintained to do what you gotta do. So one nice little touch that I love about this printer is the fact that they've given you some nice sturdy metal handles. And when not in use, you can just point them downward. Now this is pretty cool because most people wouldn't give you a feature like that. It would just be a handle that would stick out just like so. Now why is this important? Because that's almost an additional inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a half on both sides. That's three inches almost that it adds to the width of the machine but but this piece alone right here is about a half inch so when you could point that downward it's only adding an inch of width to the left and right side of this unit but when you need to move this machine you just flip these out you can grab them and they're nice and sturdy and you won't have any problems moving this thing around but it just makes it easier to handle when you have somebody on the other side and you lifting this thing to be able to move it that's the great thing about this as well as you don't need a bunch of people to maneuver it a friendly neighbor or somebody can help you with that and then when you're not using it you just close it and push down the other great feature is again the fact that it runs 110 so this can run off a standard 15 amp outlet and you there's no need to upgrade uh, anything so if you're putting this in a room or a garage you're perfectly fine you don't need to run a 20 amp breaker and you'll have no problems okay now we're in the back of the machine so I'm gonna put this down now one thing I loved about this here is it kind of reminds me of a computer setup when you push this down and out you now have access to one of the boards on the unit same thing here you 
just click that downward and you have this whole panel that comes off and access to your main boards. So this makes it a great feature because if in, in the event anything ever goes wrong with any of these boards, you now have the ability to change you know, something as simple as maybe this fan or change this whole board out or this board and you're good to go. Or say your ethernet cable goes out, well it's pretty easy to get to that ethernet cable right here. You're able to unplug it and put a different one in. So all of these ribbon cables connect very easily to the system and you shouldn't have any problems being able to maintain these boards. I love the fact that they did that and made it so simple to access. When you could change these boards out within a matter of minutes versus hours, having to take out a million screws to get to one board, it makes it very nice and very convenient when you can access certain things and get them repaired. It, it can get you back up and running faster than you expected. And then that's it, they're back on. So very easy to operate, you've got your CMYK white, just removing these screws alone, this panel comes off and then you can slide out your bottles in the event that you either need to change them or if you need to put maybe some cleaning bottles in there to be able to clean the print heads, the lines, everything, if you're doing uh, long-term storage, that can make it very simple to access these bottles. Uh, I do see in here, if we take a peek down up in there, we could see on the white our stirring mechanism. So that makes it very nice too. The fact that we do have a built-in stirring system for our white to keep it from separating. Definitely, that is a key feature that you do need to have, okay? That's one of the leading causes of people having issues with their whites is because it separates and they're, you know, when you're using these EcoTank printers, that have been modified, it's very hard to be able to stir up those inks and to keep them going, unless you're printing on a daily basis, every single day nonstop, you know, to keep that inks, you know, circulated, you know, even then you're gonna run into some problems. So having the ability to be able to have that system in place is what DTF is all about and that is why it is implemented because the white ink is what gives you the most problems if it's not maintained properly and circulated it'll separate you know the white from the yellow so definitely having that is key what we have here is our ink disposal bottle so this will tell you when your bottle needs to be emptied so all your you know reservoir bad cleaning ink goes here what i thought was a nice touch too is this is a separate panel right here so it has some screws that can be removed on all four sides and when you do remove those it now gives you access to the hoses that would be on the left side of this unit in the back of it so again another nice feature that you get that gives you the ability to work on things as well as the ability to uh, work on anything from the back end is pretty nice too so let's move on over to the left side of the machine all right, so now we're on the left side of our machine, and same thing. Twist, open. You now have access to all of your hoses in the back, and like I said, right here, this is where you have access to this stuff just by removing that panel in the back. You've got your belt drive system here, and then you've got, again, your print head box here with all your dampers, and so, it makes it very easy to maintenance and clean everything when you have access to everything so simply. So once again, a reason to keep that in mind when it comes to a DTF printer. And again, we have that nice handle system that allows you to move it up and down when it's not in use. So one thing that is nice is across the front here, we have a status display lights that will tell you the status of your ink that is in your system as well as we have a really nice on off system here an emergency stop that in the event we need to stop this this unit you know we can do so by just twisting that and then push it down when you're ready to use it again we have a on off system here for our ink system so that's a nice feature there that's kind of separate from the unit itself 
And then again, we have a screw here and then a screw there that can get this part off as well to give you even more access to where this part can come up completely in the event that you need to maybe get into the back of the uh, printer to be able to work on it. All right, you guys, so there you have it. This is a quick look at the R2 up close. So for those of you that might be interested in this, but you know, sometimes it's just cool when you can have the ability to look up close and personal with this unit. I try to get as close as I can with the cameras to seeing this unit, but hopefully this helps some of you guys out to be able to make a decision when it comes to this printer. We're gonna have a lot more on this printer from software to it actually running, but obviously I can't do that until I get the updated shaker in, but definitely going to be doing a lot with this throughout the year. So we're going to be showing how to optimize it, you know, and really utilizing the software and seeing where we can go with it. Now, let me just break down quickly some of the features of this that it has. That way, you just know right off the bat, just watching this video. So we've got 20, 27 square feet per hour. So that's anywhere from 150 to 200 pieces per uh, day at 12 by 14 size. We've got white ink management system like we saw the steering unit. We've got passive auto cleaning. So it maintains it, the cleaning the printhead every four hours when not in use and left on. It's got active auto cleaning, so it performs cleanings uh, in earth intervals while it's actually operating, which is a good thing. It's got a head strike sensor that's built into the system that can, you know, watch out for that. It's got an automatic film sensor to make sure that it doesn't print when you run out of film, so that's a good thing. Uh, again, desktop, small form factor, perfect for small shops for people that maybe have limited space. Uh, dual Epson XP 600 print heads. These are running at about a 1440 DPI uh, nozzles, uh, 1080 on the nozzles on those print head micro piezos. So those are good, good print heads. Uh, DigiRip software, TCP interface, uh, main board is Hansen, and as well, you've got your 13 inch uh, rolls that this thing can handle. So very cool, very easy very simple. Hopefully you're looking forward to this as much as I am. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts about this machine. If you're using it, if you're thinking about it, feel free to ask away. And then of course, my links are in the description. Feel free to utilize them. They don't cost you anything, but they'll lead you to the same product. So helps the channel out when you're able to use them. Thanks for watching. My name is James. Peace out, guys.